This is a short video um, about a chronic pain condition called fibromyalgia. Um, I felt inspired to share this and my experience in order to be able to um, motivate, support and inspire other people um, who may have this condition, have had it for a while or have been struggling with the same kind of um, symptoms that I'm going to describe to you. Uh, I basically um, recently have been getting symptoms and, and a flare-up of fibromyalgia. Um, so just to explain for the people who may not know about fibromyalgia, it's a chronic muscle and nerve disorder. Um, it's a, a chronic pain condition which affects all over the body. Um, it's, nerve, it's nerve pain but it affects all the muscles, so it's just like a widespread pain of the muscles. Um, it also creates chronic fatigue because the muscles are just constantly firing off, you know, the pain stimuli. Um, there's research now to show that it may be down to, right down to a cellular level. So the mitochondria, which are the, you know, the, the parts of the cells that um, enable us to, to create energy, basically, um, that they're not quite working in the right way. Um, I was told when I was diagnosed with it, that it may have been triggered off by an accident, um, by an injury, or it can be triggered off by traumas or prolonged um, periods of stress. Um, when I was diagnosed with it when I was 21, and actually a few years before that, I was knocked over by a motorbike, um, which was quite a big accident. I was totally fine from it, but um, they've, they've believed that it may have been um, a delayed response to that accident. And so um, just to kind of, I want to share this video where I'm at right now. And it's really inspired me having this, this condition come back again. Um, it's inspired me to really share what happened. What, so basically eight years ago, I overcame this condition. I really believe strongly in my heart that that was it. Um, I had such profound um healing from this condition on every single level on an emotional level releasing really um you know strong emotions on an energetic level on a physical level on a mental level like every level i you know i went over i went through a massive healing journey um i spent you know two years solidly like going through um lots of different therapies lots of different things um you know uh, a huge detox a huge cleanse like i totally eradicated all foods out of my diet went through a fast went for all these cleanses and then reintroduced different foods um i've learned so much about this condition um i was diagnosed with it uh how long has it been 17 years ago um i think and um so i yeah i mean i have a massive awareness and the knowledge of it um i as i said i thought i'd overcome and healed it within myself um and it's been eight years i've had no symptoms um virtually no symptoms every now and then i'll get like the fatigue but no pain no symptoms and the past um two months it started to come back again and it really shook me. And I, I, for ages, was in denial of it happening um, because I know it's so debilitating. It actually really scared me that that, that could be um, my reality again. Um, for anyone who has fibromyalgia or knows anyone with it, um, they would know, you know, like how kind of detrimental it is to your, your life. Um, I was told many times by um, GPs, uh, medical professionals, uh, pain consultants, you know, like orthopedic people, physios, you know, that um, it's something that was going to stay with me. Um, there was no cure for it. And it was something that I needed to get used to and like adapt my life around. I needed to learn how to pace my life and to stop chasing miracle cures. I was actually told by one doctor that if I continued being so active, I could end up in a wheelchair, um, which actually really spiraled me into you know, feelings of depression. But actually, um, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me because that really triggered something in me and ignited something in me that just would not accept that to be the truth. Um, and then inspired me to go on this, this kind of quest for the answers and you know, um, to, to, to have that healing journey for myself. And so yeah, it came as a, a shock to me that it came back, you know, so um, five years, six years ago, I trained as a life coach. I'm now a hypnotherapist as well. I've been running retreats around the world. I work one-to-one -one with clients um, as well as in groups and on the retreats um, to assist them, you know, to excel in life, to live the life that they, they've always dreamed of and to live a life with no limits. 
um, and to all of a sudden be limited in my life um, whilst you know having that profession um, yeah it was a real wake-up call and you know part of me believes that that it's because there's so many people out there that need this this kind of guidance I've had so many people you know, um, over the eight years when I've shared about my journey um, of, of overcoming fibromyalgia, who's, who've asked for me for help, for advice, for guidance. Um, and so I felt like rather than in the background while I'm still working, you know, in my profession and, and doing the coaching, like rather than doing this kind of hidden in the background, um, why not be transparent and actually share my journey, share the steps that I'll be taking in order to be able to inspire um, and guide anyone who really needs this right now um, and so yeah to give a bit of a background I guess to what is di what has happened differently in my life um, I returned back to my medical profession um, I work as an anesthetic and surgical specialist and I returned right in the middle of the pandemic um, and, and worked for the NHS you know um, luckily we worked in, in in my area of expertise in surgery and helping critical patients have their their surgery for cancers um, it, was, it was very stressful um, on all levels on all planes you know like obviously trying to push through as many patients as we could um, working in extreme conditions very different and unusual conditions that we weren't used to wearing all the PPE um, and, and at you know, the beginning for like long lengths of time absolutely sweating not being able to drink properly water you know all these different things um, it has an effect on me. Um, the way that we were working, um, I, I started a new hospital in a new place in London. So there was a lot of things that triggered off stress and I realized that, um, but just kept pushing through and kept pushing through. And you know, like I would end each day feeling really fatigued, um, total exhausted, sometimes just going straight to my bed and not even being able to, to eat. Um, and then getting up in the morning and starting again. And, you know, there's only so long that you can sustain that for. Um, and I ended up really getting quite ill with this fibromyalgia, with the symptoms um, about two months ago. And so I've been off work now seven weeks or so um, because I just couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. And I, so you know what, I just <laughs> keep this video short. I just wanted to actually share something that happened um, yesterday. Uh, that actually really shocked me and made me think I right that's it I need to I need to share this with people because this is wrong I am um, I have felt the pressure of needing to go back to work you know needing to be to be able to um, you know return to surgery and and help my hospital you know they're, they're short staffed I've, well this is still dealing with the pandemic um, but also as well feeling the the kind of pressure of my plans, my coaching plans, you know, I, I had planned to work one-to-one -one with clients. I had planned to launch um, online coaching programs to help people, really wanting to help people, um, you know, learning, like, so to share the, the tools and techniques and the, the resources and the strategies that I know that, that really work to help people with overcoming stress, overcoming anxiety and overwhelm and negative thinking and overthinking and really be able to help people come back to balance, come back to um, a place of calmness so that they, they're able to deal with all the, the craziness that's going on, you know, on the, in the external world. Um, and because of that, I decided to go to my GP and um, to get medication to kind of help me um, with the, the nerve pain that is just constantly firing off. Like when I describe this to people, um, I, for me, I feel like it's like having an, a fire alarm that's going off in your body constantly, this constant alarm. And while that alarm is going off, you're trying to think clearly, you're trying to you know, speak with people, you're trying to focus on the things that you're doing, you're trying to think of the, the future, and you're just constantly pulled into this thing, this loop. Um, which makes you feel bad, which which gets you down, which gets you negative thinking, and it's just this vicious cycle. And I wanted to break that vicious cycle to just really sleep well, to really, you know, um, come to a place of healing. So I know then I'd, I'd be able to get my energy back and get back into the work mode. And so the GP um, prescribed me with the, the pain medication I was on like way back, like 10 years ago, um, which actually is called amitriptyline. Um, for anyone who has fibromyalgia will probably have been diagnosed with this. Um, it's used for, um, for nerve pain uh, in small doses. And then apparently, you know, you can have it in large doses, which actually helps with depression. 
um, it can be like I know a side effect is it's very drowsy which I was totally fine with that I was going to take it at night time and I was going to get myself used to it for a, a week and then you know return to work when I could what I didn't actually know before and, and which really stu stuck, st struck me um, and shocked me is um, how the effect that it has on your heart you know um, it can affect your heart rhythm it can create arrhythmias um, it, like, so uh, there's a one in, where is, so, I mean, gosh, the, um, the, all of the side effects here are, are like this whole page, um, which, you know, I was so desperate, like 10 years ago, or whatever, when I was on the, the first time, I just took it and I didn't really read it. Um, like, I mean, for, for example, for people who are using this for, um, Yeah, as antidepressants, which is a stronger um, dose, this shocked me. So, you know, if you're using it for that, um, if you're depressed, it says that this can actually worsen the, the thoughts of harming or killing yourself. It can actually worsen um, thoughts of suicidal behavior. Uh, but it says like it could increase that for like up to two weeks um, and then it can get better, which actually really shocked me. Um, for the, the side effects of when what I'm using it for, so for um neuropathic pain chronic tension type headaches and migraine prevention um i knew the kind of things like i said um the the drowsiness you know it can cause like um confusion you know uh can't remember the different things now but yeah just mainly drowsiness and stuff like it also says it can actually um lead to heart failure um, depending on if you have uh, kind of symptom like certain cardiac things before, but you know if you don't know you have, then how are you supposed to know? Um, but one in ten people, it says it can actually cause this prolonged QT interval, um, which will be shown in the ECG, um, which is basically like you know arrhythmias, like um, which can easily happen, um, which then can obviously have a detrimental effect if that happens over a, like a prolonged length of time. Other things, you know. Um, was the ones that I saw now uh yeah heart block fatigue I'm using it to actually help me with fatigue where it actually can create more fatigue disturbed coordination um increased blood pressure that's one in a hundred people anxiety nightmares convulsions tinnitus like yeah just liver function impairment it's just and obviously then there's like the, the, the more and more rare things but the fact that it was very common to have heart issues with this, this, this drug really shocked me. Um, and it's like the 10 milligrams, the smallest dose that you can have of it. Uh, it shocked me so much, I, I'm gonna send it back to the pharmacist and, and, and question as to why no one had given me these possible side effects, like warned me about it. There's no way I'm gonna take this medication. And it really triggered, it really ignited in me the fact that I want to combat and overcome this, 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 these symptoms and this condition like I've done it before, I'm certain I can do it again, um, that I wanna do this in a natural way. I wanna do this like working with um, natural healers, with therapists, with you know like nutrition, with different um, like practices such as breath work, such as pranayama, such as yoga and meditation. Um, and rather than do this, you know, like on my own, I wanna reach out to anyone that this might uh, resonate with who, who's going through a similar thing or if you know somebody who is please share this video with them I you know um, it's that bad I've decided to pause my coaching because I I just can't focus on it, it it's 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 I need to deal with this first and so I've decided that I just want to share I want to share my experience so I can actually help like I have to do this I have to take time out and I have to overcome this. I have to do, I've done this before. I've learned all of the techniques. I'm, I've learned all of the tools that I need to do. The diet, the, you know, um, the emotional releasing, the energy work, the, 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 you know, like the mental work, knowing that like I need to harness my thoughts, um, change my beliefs around this, you know, like look after myself more, like change my environment. All of these things I know is what's needed and necessary and I'm going to do. Um, and I want to share it step by step so that other people can learn from this too. And, and if I can, you know, encourage and inspire and support anyone else out there while I'm doing this, then that for me is just like a bonus. 
So um, yeah, I encourage you to follow me, follow um, my YouTube channel. This is where I'm going to be posting all of these videos. Um, I'm going to be posting um, in the next couple of days all of the different natural remedies that I'm going to start bringing back into. This is the thing, you know, I did this, it worked. I had no symptoms, pain free, like bags of energy. I felt great. I totally changed my life. I was in the best health, optimal health I, I've ever been in. And then, you know, life come, you know, life comes in and, and one of the biggest things I've been taught as well, you know, like we healing um, chronic conditions is not to go back into old ways of being old um, situations, old patterns, old environments that you know are conducive to creating stress, to anxiety, you know, that just not serving you. And, you know, I, I did do that. I feel like I did it for a purpose, you know, I, I did it for a reason. And I feel like I, you know, I've really been there at a time when I was needed, you know, when I was there in the pandemic and if I wasn't there, I would have felt like this pull to be involved and to be able to, to be of service. And I have been, but I, I also know now how, when to, to withdraw and when to look after myself. And yeah, so, um, I'm going to share the, the herbal remedies um, I want to share and document all of the different things that I do. I'm reaching out, seeking now the, the healing work that I know is good for me, like cranial sacral therapy, hypnotherapy, you know, seeing naturopaths, um, all of the different things and all the different um, teachings that I, I, I'm going to revert back to, including my cacao work, which if you follow my YouTube channel, I, and if you know me, I've always been going going on about. I've been working with cacao every single day while this has been happening in order to heal myself, in order to get clarity and, and to kind of get guidance on, on what's going on. Um, and so, yeah, I want to share all of these things. So please um, keep following, uh, contact me, you know, send a message um, in whether this is on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, wherever it is. And um, for any of you that I've been working with or was due to be working with, um, with my coaching work, um, yeah, I just wanted to be really transparent and share where I'm at. Um, you know, there's only so much I can give of, my, of where I'm at right now and and you know like i know through all of the work i've done if we give from our own energy energy stores you know there's only so much we can sustain that for and right now i'm giving from my energy reserves it's not even my own energy like I, my all of my energy needs to go to healing this this condition um and it's really made me realize that today um and so yeah i've decided to totally clear out this my calendar um, my diary really for this month and just have it all uh, focused to healing to to my own healing and any kind of coaching work that I'm going to do I'm going to be doing it um, around this area to be able to guide and help other people um, and so yeah I hope this will be of value to people and um, I hope that by sharing some of these tools and techniques and me just sharing really honestly and openly can um, help other people too.